welcome to Easy Comic Life Bows, and today we're looking at nipple bats. The nipply bats of the bats of the bats of the- wait, this doesn't have nipples. Satisfy me, Robin. <laughs> We're going to take a look at both Batman Forever um, uh, figures. We have Big Chunky Wonky, and we have Big Chunky Donkey. I like it. Obviously, this is from the Val Kilmer Batman on the value pass today. Don't forget, CollectorZone.com. Easy, easy, 5% off. And this price is what you're not going to pay. You're going to pay shipping and the tax all together. Easy, easy, saves a five percent off. All the links down below, as well as day one. If you want day one, I'm talking, I'm talking day one stuff. Like out the door as soon as Hong Kong is like, we got it. Then you're going to be like, oh, we're shipping. Pre-order with Pop Collectibles. All the links are down below. Pop Collectibles will be getting a website soon. Don't worry about that. So let's get into the figure. <clears throat> okay, so I didn't read the description. We're gonna read the description here on um, Batman because I didn't read anything on him. Um, I just I know what he comes with. I know what Robin comes with. I know the pricing. So as for pricing, I think it's I think it's balanced. Um, we're gonna go through what he comes with in a, in a bit. But um, spending years in Cal and fighting crime, obviously gadgets will come with him. Bat sonar rolling. Oh, rolling separate eyeballs. That is nice. I didn't expect that, so we're getting a little bit of DX treatment here. Um, that's why I wanted to read. Um, I like that they're coming with the rolling eyeballs. This is something uh, that, that should be happening, uh, along with ratcheted joints. Um, it doesn't say anything about ratcheted joints. Kickstart your Batman collection with a new figure today. Um, Hot Toys, Summer 2022. I really hate that um, these releases are way too far. I mean, but what are we gonna what are we gonna do? You know, it's kind of sucky, but we have no choice. So let's go ahead and go through bats. Um, this guy, Val Kilmer's. Now this ain't the nippy bat. I wanted nippy bats because nippy bats um, looks cool. I just imagine having nipples in your collection. There's a lot more other figures for that. I uh, seen some figures yesterday with big old. I don't know why I came across those figures. I was like, why is that so big? Why is it out of the pit? Anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, this Batman is the second uh, version two suit in the movie from what we saw. Move. Move. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he has movable eyes. I would like to see that. Um, but this guy does have movable eyes. That's really good. Now, this is the second suit version without the nipples. Robin does have the nipples. We'll go over the nipples later. Um, but this suit is very... Rubber. I don't like it. A little bit of Jim Carrey, uh, um, um, Riddler in there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't guess why. But um, rubbery suit for this guy. I don't. I wouldn't like this suit at all. But the thing is, why I'm accepting it. Looks like little two beetles on his thing. Um, why I'm accepting it is because this is like the Batman Begins suit, but in a different texture from what I'm seeing. Um, why I'm going to accept this suit is because judging from the Batman Begins suit, I it kind of lasts. I mean, it does kind of last. Um, when you're treating it and putting it in, in well areas that I have my uh, humidifier full, uh, well, well regulated, uh, temperature areas and humidity areas that you're regulating, it tends to last, and as long as the Batman figure, la begins figure lasted that long, I'm kind of fine with it, now, as we can see, you're gonna get the, the, the kind of articulation that you're gonna have to really, that I'm gonna bypass too, because I can't blame Hot Toys on this, I can't blame anything on Hot Toys as far as, the, like, suit materials, um, um, articulation and stuff. I'm sure our articulation is there. We're just gonna get a little bit of Benzy Wenzies, you know. Over here, you can see probably if you go to the side, it's gonna look all crappy. But if if you work with these hot toy figures, and from experience, we all know if you work with these figures, they do um, 
they do articulate well, and they do form well. You just kind of got to leave them in museum pose every now and then. You got to take them out of them poses because the suits either stick to itself, it starts to wrinkle real bad, and we're already getting some wrinklage right there really, really bad. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. I mean, damn. But hey, yeah, as you can see, a little bit of wrinklage here. It looks like the suit never went back to its original form. Um, I'm liking that... I don't know what kind of material the boots will be because it's very form-fitting. It's not that loose pleathery. Um, it might be that vinyl-y type material. This figure looks like it's hell on earth as far as posing uh, because it will crack, kaboom, to doom um, so, oh, I just saw, you can't see it, but it says horny at the side. Oh, I see why! You little banana boat smuggling Robin. Dang, he's rocking it. I, Robin, did you... Okay, I don't know how to move on from this. How do I move? How do I move on from this? Um, Batman, you have nothing. I'm. S I don't know. I guess that was a move on. But we're talk. We'll talk about you later, Robin. All your exquisiteness. But um, being that, I'm. This is gonna be the initial pose. I'm probably gonna lock him into. This won't be straining his suit too much, as well as putting li little to no pressure on his knee joints or uh, ankle joints, which is good. Now, I would like to see the cape. I'm not sure if they show the cape. He does come with an array of gadgets, um, that, which is good. I like the gadgets. The gadgets is nice. The head sculpt and everything here, going great. I don't have nothing to complain about. I'm not talking about sculpt too much because there is none, which a lot of people are like, we didn't get a Val Kilmer. <laughs> which is understandable because this is not that much of a high-demanded figure to make such a DX out of him, you know? So, I understand that. You don't have to have it all. I like that they added the articulated eyes. That is a must for stuff like this now. I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm expecting it at this point. And uh, it looks like that wrinklage is there. It just It's there. I don't know. But um, let's go to his gadgets. Where's his gadget? Here you can see a Fascinito bannering. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 7-Up. It's gassy. As you can see, the suit is really really hating itself right there um and then you see his little sonar uh googles when he takes out the lights with the riddler and two-face two-face i really hope they make a two-face because two-face i i really want a tommy lee jones figure i mean that two-face is the definite two-face for me that's the definitive tooth tooth fairy two-face for me because that two-face is just i don't know it's senile it's crazy i just love the way that two-face worked i don't know why the pinks and the, i don't know i just love that one so i doubt they're gonna make the riddler because i don't even want them to make the riddler um but as you can see more of the suit folding the suit is literally folding over itself there <sighs> we're gonna have to deal with it because that is suit accuracy i mean i can't blame hot toys there that's just suit accuracy what are you gonna do i want to see the cape let me see the cape. Here's all the stuff, the bat claw, um, punching knuckles, uh, Boonga Kanga, and Bataranga. Honestly, I can't remember all the gadgets that he came with, um, but here is the cape. It looks to me like it is a tactical suit Batman from the Justice League type cape. Um, not going to be wired, probably going to be wired around the shoulders, and that's about it, uh, and it will fall. Definitely going to get a custom cape by... Um, uh, Unreal Customs for this guy. Definitely going to go Unreal Customs because these capes just... It adds too much of volume in the back and it looks more of a toy. Unreal capes really change the look of your capes, I'm telling you. Um, but all in all, this guy is worth it. I say he is worth the full price. Um, we're getting a DX action here with the eyes. We're getting accessories and nice base. A base is not LED lit. I, I really wish they'd stop doing this little light bulb base. I, I don't like it at all. I don't. So with that being said, this is a buy because I am a Batman fan and you guys know that. So let's go on to Robbie. What are you packing? So let's see Dick. Um, uh, uh, Dick Grayson witnessed the murder of his par his pants and swore to dictate himself to bringing Dick's justice. <sighs> I think I'm reading that all right. Anyway, this will be September. Oh, uh, not September. Summer 2022. Just like the bats, same time. So we're featuring a newly developed head sculpt. Obviously perfect translating the details in the face mask. Specializing portraying the body detail on the summer. No! We're not getting any uh, independently moving eyes. But I do see something we are getting. Which does satisfy me, kind of. No, it, no I, I take that back. I, I take that back. That was stupid. Anyway. 
Let's go over him. Um, yeah, Price. 284. He's worth it. He's... Um, Batman figures to me are worth it because they have so much into them. There's so much design. There's so much tailoring work. There's a head sculpt. There's a little bit of, you know, flesh here and there. And um, I guess you get a banana. Uh, you get a banana accessory in here, I, I think. It looks like it. Um, they're showing this bat cave when he's like, I am Robin. I will be with you. We're going to use both the bat pod and the bat water. Agua, ma, wa, I don't know what that is. I don't know what, what it was called. But I don't know why they would show this because I kind of like, I was like, whoa, a diorama base. That would be cool. That would be sick, you know, maybe a deluxe one. But no, we don't get that. We get just regular square base, which is, is kind of fine. Um, as you can see here, he's just about the same thing, just with nipples. I like these. Look at these perfectly formed areolas. Look it up. That's what it's called. Don't believe me? Look it up. Like I said. Here we have him more of... Boom, boom, action posing. But um, I have to say, the head sculpts on both of these guys, especially Robin, they spot-on nailed Robin. My God, they got him. This is probably the iconic pose for Robin I'll go for. Again, um, him and Batman in the showcase like this, that's just pure, pure uh, manliness, right? Um, abs, ab crunch, which he'll probably have but be folding his abs. As you can see, um, it's just the same. Uh, suit quality and materials will be just the same. All I'm seeing is the different capes and colors and variants and, and, and armor uh, stature. But um, other than that, the head sculpt is perfect. I love it. I wanted the Adam West and Robin uh, figures. That I missed out on. I couldn't do it. I couldn't hunt it down fast enough. Now it's, golly, it's skyrocketed. And now I can't reach it. So this is my next step in the Batman and Robin League. So this is really good. Here we have a nice close head sculpt of Dick. Um, thank God there's not an image of the other Dick. But here, as you can see, this is pretty cool. Um, I like this. I wish it would have had that, that um, immovable eye stuff. Because that would have been just beautiful to add. Um, it would have been kind of hard being that it's a full head sculpt. But Hot Toys, work your magic. I don't know. Do something. Ratchet Joints, I really hope, is on these figures. Like I said, that's the premium we have to pay, so that's the premium I want to have. Um, this cape looks like it's pleathery goodness. This whole figure line, this Batman and Robin, is scary as hell because it's doing everything against of whatever I'm saying. Pleather, rubbery, vinyl, and cracking materials. That's just hell on earth. But if you take care of your figures and you have them um, in a way that they're very well regulated on the temperatures and such you're gonna have good luck you're gonna have good luck and they're gonna last figures like um uh what can i say uh nightmare batman i've had zero issues with um knock on wood um i zero issues with so that big old pleathery coat hasn't gave me any issues at all i don't touch touch too much i don't touch touch don't put your oily hands your oily fingertips on your fingers too much because that's another uh condition that will make your fingers conditioned into oily flaky materials because it's losing its own uh pleathery nature because of your oils so don't touch them too much if you do touch them touch them with a microfiber glove or something like that that makes them last but otherwise this figure comes with nothing which i'm totally fine with because he's a little bit lower in price i think yes he's a little bit lower in price which is fine a buy for both of them um why because i'm a big batman fan and this is no brainer for me because i love these things the movie weren't wasn't that great i mean batman forever wasn't that great of a movie in history standpoint from batman movies um but man i do love batman and these costumes are sick they're sick nasty and i'm gonna have them in the iconic ha, 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 pose so what goes you know and there we have it both of them is a buy look at that scary pleather cape unreal customs i'm gonna have to come at you with a drape cape that will be looking so cool it just falls nicely it's gonna make him look so realistic the cape is key I want to I want to tell Hot Toys the only thing I have to complain about this whole thing is Hot Toys your capes are shit your capes are definitely the worst thing uh, that we have when it comes to Batman figures never fails the capes suck the only time I liked a cape was when uh, Superman Superman had a great cape um, like Royal, Royal Guards they had a great cape which Superman Royal Guards same material so I see why it worked. But anyway this both of them is a must buy I like them both especially the nipples and the Dick Grayson. Uh, Bye, guys!